welcome back to Heinz Farm. Right now I'm in the semi taking a load of corn down here to the ethanol plant. That's it right there. I'm going to try and put my phone in my pocket and I hope you can see. I've got my phone set for wide angle. So hopefully it'll come through halfway decent. We'll wait and see right there. But this is the ethanol plant down here. Now it's on the west side of Logansport, Indiana. Anderson Incorporated is the name of it. This is where we bring a lot of our corn down to. Okay, I just made the turn so I can hold my phone back in my hand for right now. That place right there, EB Trailer is where we bought our new uh, semi-trailer. They now make uh, Generation Trailers is the name of it. The great thing about the trailer is um, everything. The subframe, the whole entire trailer is all aluminum. Everything except for the back axles on the trailer. That is steel. But the trailer itself is actually all aluminum. And so that makes it nice. No rust or anything like that to worry about. And right over there is Anderson. And so getting ready to pull in the driveway. And make the turn pull in. Big place down through here they go through if I remember right it's approximately about anywhere from 100 to 110,000 bushel of corn per day. Well, that's uh, probably in about a 24-hour hour cycle because they run around. They they are they are open and they run around the clock. Now, as far as uh, bringing corn in, they are only open from seven in the morning till four in the afternoon. But as far as actual ethanol production. It's 24/7. I think they may they might shut down for about one week out of the year for maintenance. But other than that, they are running nonstop. And so here I am pulling up underneath the probe. Here's where they do a moisture sample. Normally, normally they have two lines. You can kind of see the cone right over there. They ha they've had that one blocked off now for several. No, for the past couple weeks, I don't know why. But, um, and so they got to bring everything through this line over here. And so, they have this little ID card. You can see right there it is. And, um, I hang that up there on the sun visor. And as you, go, as you pull through, as you come up to the probe for a moisture sample it um, it trips up your information whether or not you're selling it on the open market contract uh, de um, deferred pricing also known as DP or however you got it set up just a quick side note this video here is actually going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to um, try and film the whole entire thing as I go through and so here in a little bit you'll see the probe right there swing around he'll drop in oh they usually pull about uh, three to four samples out of the truck it's hooked up on like an on like on um, like a vacuum system and um, it'll vacuum it up and take that sample on up into the scale house where they go through it and like I say moisture check they'll check for test weight and that kind of stuff and then over there those if I remember correctly those big tanks right there is actually where the fermenting process is being done converting the corn into ethanol and um, basically what it is is just like uh, well just like a moonshine steel 
is what they're doing down here. They use a lot of yeast. If you could smell this place, all the oh, all that steam and everything coming from the production, it smells like a giant bread machine. And so it smells really good. And so right there's the readout that it'll kick up your information. And then it'll trip up a little green light right there telling me when I'm get ready to pull forward. Right up there is the scale. I'll be pulling up on that here in a little bit when they do the moisture check. But anyway, back over there to the, to the production side of it. Basically, what they're, all they're doing is uh, making um, a 200 proof alcohol. And so, that definitely get you hammered. And then they ship it out on, um, uh, oh, I see a lot of um, uh, tanker trucks coming in here. Um, it goes out on semi. Yes. Did you unroll your tar? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, yeah, I got interrupted right there. Sure enough, I forgot to hit the button to unroll my tarp on the trailer. Got a sidetrack filming. And so I'm going to put my phone back in my pocket here. That way I can pay attention to what I'm doing. But like I was saying before, um, uh, they um, uh, talked to me on the intercom right there. They do a lot of, um, well, the ethanol goes out on uh, semi, and then they also ship it out on rail. And so they have a, a lot of tanker cars going out on train. see through that steering wheel but I can't really hold my phone too well and drive the truck so we'll see how this works but uh, here I am pulling up onto the scale sign right there it tells me which um, a pit I need to go to it tells me my weight okay they're sending me over to uh, pit number well it looks like it's where I'm heading to pit two and so right up that way there's trucks right there ahead of me that's pit one and then right over there's pit two Within about the past year and a half, they've really increased um, uh, on the receiving side. Because before it would take them forever to get semis through. They'd have semis lined up, sitting out, backed up, clear out on the road. And um, uh, they finally upgraded things where now they can crank the semis through here fast. You, you can pull over the right over the pit open up your hopper and just fly that really makes it nice and so i'll sit here that little light right there will, right there will turn green 
when they upgraded the pits due to their stupid EPA regulations, they had to put these stupid doors in here. Talk about a bunch of boneheads. And so you got to deal with that dumb door going up and down all the time. But hey, that's government for you. Nothing new. Put them in charge of the Sahara Desert. There, there'd be a shortage of sand within about 12 hours. Okay, the light just changed. There goes the door. And now I'll pull in here. And you can see the pit right there. I'll pull over top of it and get out and go back and open up my hopper. <laughs> 